let's uh, look at how to actually download and install Zotero first. So uh, Zotero.org, they've got a big red download button. So click there and then you'll see these two uh, options here on your screen. Um, Zotero 5.0, in my case for Mac, uh, and then the Zotero connector. If you're on PC, um, it'll show you the PC option and it's actually the process is going to be really similar. Uh, so we go ahead and do the hit download here and when it's downloaded then I open this you see it says Zotero.dmg that just means that's the type of that's kind of the download type of file. Uh, normally on Macs you would download something through the App Store but in this case uh, and in some other cases you install software this way. Uh, it opens this little window here and then I just drag this from here into this folder here. All right, so that's done. And now we can click here to install the Safari connector. This is assuming you're using Safari. Um, you can also use Firefox or uh, Chrome. I use Chrome typically, um, but each of, the, each of them is, uh, is pretty similar. So I just hit this button. And it takes me to the extensions. Um, Again, you've got these two sections because the, the first thing that we just installed is Zotero on my computer, regardless of whether I have an internet connection. And now what we're doing is we're making a connection for the web browser. Um, so I click this Install Now button, and it's going to put a little Z right here next to um, the browser bar. And this Z will, be, will allow me to save things from the internet into my Zotero as long as Zotero is open on my computer. So that was pretty simple. Uh, we have both of those things done. And so now let's go ahead and open Zotero. Um, so my favorite way to open anything on my computer is just command spacebar and then just start typing what I'm looking for. So Zotero is there, hit enter. Yes, it's, I trust this application, so I choose Open. The Zotero Word plugin has been successfully installed, but Word must be restarted before it can be used. Okay, so we're uh, jumping ahead here a little bit, but um, there's a plugin that connects Zotero to Microsoft Word, and that's it's already trying to make that connection. So we'll have to do a restart. So here's Zotero. Let me make this big. Um, as I hover over this, if I hold Option, it changes. Um, let's just double check that Zotero connector. So I'll, I'll go to Microsoft Word, quit this, and do a restart. And so we can look at the, the connection with Microsoft Word here in Preferences. So Zotero up in the menu, choose Preferences, and then you have these options across the top. Um, you have under this site, um, let's, we'll come back to styles in a second here, but choose Word Processors, and you see right here, the Microsoft Word plugin. Uh, the Microsoft Word add-in is currently installed, which is great. Um, you can also use LibreOffice if you don't have Microsoft Word. LibreOffice is free. Um, you can just find it and download it. It'll function very similarly to Microsoft Word. Um, so the word, the word add-in is running and we'll come back to the use of that in a little while. Jump back here to styles. This is our last uh, setup, our last step of the four pieces of the setup that I'm going to show you. You see here this, the various citation styles. Um, we at Redcliffe are looking for one that's a little different. So go here and type Gloucester. And you see here, University of Gloucestershire, Harvard. So this is the Harvard style, but it's a slightly customized version. And so just click to get that. Scroll down and you can see that it's available here. So I select that. And now any of the citations that I take from Zotero will come out in this Harvard format, which is amazing. Okay, so we can close this. There are other options here, but uh, we don't really need to go into those at this point. Okay, so our uh, download and installation and configuration is done. It takes you just a few minutes.